So then they do the tr torture, and I, I just lost my mind there because I remember arguing with uh, one of my dad's friends in Turkey, I did not object. And I did not tell me, he says, I ah, think you're so naive. You think you and your lovely America, you don't do torture? <laughs> Everybody does torture. <laughs> okay. And I said, no, no, no. It, you know, Turkey should reform. We shouldn't do torture. There are more effective ways. He said, you'll see. You'll see. And of course, lo and behold, it turns out America's doing torture in Iraq. Then I get a call from my <laughs> And he's like, oh, what happened now? <laughs> right? So your America doesn't look so good anymore. And it doesn't. And, and I. I really resented Bush and the Republican Party for sullying the good name of this great country. Okay? They took the shining city on a hill and they lowered it. Okay? And they turned off the lights. So now we come to this election. And the reason I told you this whole story. So now John McCain, who was an honorable man and who I voted for in 2000 in the primaries when he was running against Bush. Back then I'm a Republican and I voted for McCain. I was proud. And if it was McCain Gore, I definitely would have voted for McCain. Um, now McCain comes around and changes all of his positions to fit the worst part of the Republican Party. Before, he said uh, that he was against the, what he called the agents of intolerance. Those are the Christian white guys who were uh, saying that America is a Christian nation, everybody else is a foreigner. And, uh, and that the Christian right uh, should rule and that we should uh, follow the Bible in the government, etc. And he said, no, they were wrong. They're the agents of intolerance. Changed his mind when he's running this time. And what did he do? He went and spoke at Jerry Falwell's university for their commencement speech. Basically kissing his ring, as they said. They say he's kissing something else. But, um, and he went out and he sold out. He sold out. And he said, okay, but Christian right, what do you need me to do? Christian nation, yes. You want to run the country by the Bible? Yes. Whatever you need, I'll say. It. Okay. Whether he believes it, who knows, right? Then on taxes, he said, no, Bush's tax cuts are going to the rich. In 2003, he said that. He said, we shouldn't do it. We're in a war. And in a war, we can't cut taxes. It's irresponsible. He was right. Now he says, no, it was, oh, tax cuts were great. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm going to make Bush's tax cuts permanent. And I'm going to make it even more for the corporations who are making the most amount of them, right? I'm going to do more tax cuts than Bush in the middle of two wars. Selling out all his principles. And it, the list goes on and on. Immigration. He said, no, we have to have a reasonable immigration policy. And then during a debate, during the Republican primary, he said, I would vote against my own immigration. Why? Because he has to appeal to the far right, to the extreme right of this country. And then finally, the straw that broke the camel's back, he voted for torture. Now, a bill came out in 2007 saying, can the CIA allow, uh, be allowed to do harsh interrogation techniques? By the way, that's exactly what the Gestapo used to call it. I'm not making that up. That was from a conservative website, Andrew Sullivan's website. He found an old document uh, from 1933. The Nazis used to call it enhanced interrogation techniques. Exactly what we call it now. Now, that was 1933. The Nazis took it a lot of steps further. We haven't done that, okay? But that is how they began, and that is the direction that these guys went. And John McCain went in there and said, yes, I vote for enhanced interrogation techniques, a lot of CIA use. And we had a general on the show, and the general said, uh, yeah, if you allow the CIA to do it, that's the back door for the whole government to do it. Because then we don't use the armed forces. We bring the CIA in and go, okay, now torture this guy and give us his information, okay? So th that was John McCain, the candidate. And then finally, in these last couple of months, he took it an extra step. And it got really ugly. He started saying that Obama pals around with terrorists. Now, why do you think he's saying that? And he ran an ad the other day uh, featuring Mahmoud Ahmadinejad from Iran. And the ad was shaky, the camera, they got footage from CNN, but it's shaking, and it's kind of black and white. Why is it shaking? Right? So you can get perfectly good footage from CNN. Because they want to make it seem like a terrorist video. Okay? You know how you see the hostage videos and it shakes? Okay? And they want to label Obama as the other. He pals around with terrorists, and uh, he's, and then they went to the cold, was like socialist, he's a socialist. And I said, as I said in the beginning of the speech, 
that raising taxes by 3%, how does that make you a socialist, right? No, what I didn't know, what I found out during the course of the campaign is, socialist is a code word that we don't understand, but a lot of older Americans understand. They called Martin Luther King Jr. a socialist or a communist. Why? Because he was trying to get rights for black people. And they're like, what are you going to make everybody equal like the communists? So they accused of communism and socialism, okay? And Malcolm X, socialism, communism. Those are code words. Here's another code word, spreading the wealth. You know how they're complaining about how oh, Obama is spreading the wealth or wants to spread the wealth? At first, I didn't understand that either. I was like, again, 3% spreading the wealth. What are they doing? I think most Americans think, yeah, the guys at ExxonMobil make too much. The guy, the CEOs on Wall Street make too much. Damn right, let's spread their wealth, right? No, but spreading the wealth is a code word for, hey, white people, they're going to take your money and they're going to spread it to black people because they use it in the same speeches as welfare, and et cetera, et cetera. All these words that are meant to say, you know what? If you elect Barack Obama, he's going to hand the country over to Iran, he's Muslim, and he's black, okay? And he's going to spread all of your money out to black people. And that's why that girl the other day, if you saw that story, pretended that she was attacked by a black guy and she wrote, he wrote B on her face, as if, okay, when if Obama wins, black people are going to say to white people, okay, we're in charge now, sit down. We take all of your property, right? And we put a B on your face. <laughs> Except the girl was so stupid, she did it in the mirror, so it was backwards. <laughs> okay. And the cops were like, wait a minute, why did he put it in backwards? Right? And then she confessed and said, oh, I'm sorry I made it. Okay. So 